there's never a better time to be in Wolfram Forest than now. The opportunities that we have over the coming 10, 15, 20 years are absolutely phenomenal and fantastic and you'll never see those opportunities again. You know, I don't just want to talk to old people in a residence panel, I want to talk to young people, I want to know what they're thinking about the shape and future of this boat. Um, just more things for young kids to do, I guess. More parks, football yeah, pitches. More parks, football pitches. Maybe a like cinema that. back, things like that. Stop these like, gangs walking around, innit? Yeah, that's what will make it better. More police. Um, there should be a cinema. Yeah. So I said for ages, ever since the one at Walsham Stowe closed, we could do with a cinema in Walsham Forest yeah. and some more shops. More facilities. More facilities. I like how close we are to London as well as sort of having like green around us as well. And transport systems are really close. Yeah, yeah, it's, um, it's a nice area to live in. You know, you've got plenty of places to play, you know, play football and stuff like that. It's alright, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's alright, it's alright. I think the mixed community, I mean, there's people from all different races, cultures, and everyone gets along, or the majority get along. And I just think it's a really good thing that you can have so many different cultures just all getting along. Yeah, it wasn't really much a battle for us anymore. Everything's been taken away from us. Like, we had the cinema that's gone. They left off, it was like, just some open plan, like, just wasteland, basically, at the top of the market. So there's nothing there. Like, some of the parts there, like, they refurbished some of the parts, but most of them are still run down in that like, unsafe area, so. Yeah, it's a good thing, it's going to bring a lot of attraction to London, so yes. And it's local as well as in Stratford, so it should be. To look forward to it's good, man. It's good. It's, good. it's money. Yeah. More jobs. jobs. Yeah, jobs for us. Yeah. No. Well, I don't know. Recently, a bit more, they do try to, you know, integrate what the youth are saying a bit more into like, the plans in the future, but there still could be more done. Like. Still could be more. They still don't do anything. Like. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They hear, but I don't think they actually take action on what they're hearing. So, yeah. Um, I think we are, but we kind of get stereotyped, chucked in as kind of being menaces, so just get ignored as if we're like not, don't want to do any good. Yeah. I'd say no, probably. Not enough is done for what the youth want. More the youth are told what they want. So we need to be asking them sort of questions. What do the youth actually want? Um, some areas are, whereas some places, I suppose, aren't as safe as others, so... Uh, there's not really much to do. There's a lot of, like, just things going on that, that you try not to get involved with and stuff. Like, a lot of distractions, things like that. So at the moment, it's not that fun. Especially when you're, like, restricted to where you can go as well, without all these different areas and whatever. Bad area, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it's just, yeah, there's nothing keeping me here. Like, you know, if, if I could move, I would move. Yeah, it's, me. Yeah, it's a good thing, it's gonna bring a lot of attraction to London, so yes. Take this boa, put it on the global map, and certainly put it in as, as a leader in London. It's a place to be and a place that good things happen. Yeah.